Hey there, RC Girl here. I wanted to give you guys a quick update. This is gonna be a YouTube short on my trail runner project. So I've been moving, it's a little bit hectic over here, so apologies for the lack of content, but I've been getting my new RC station all set up, my film backdrop, and the trail runner, I've been working on this for months, apologies again, uh, but I had to put it on hiatus during my move. I wanted to walk you guys through some of the new stuff that I have coming in for it, so let's take a look. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, I have been learning how to 3D print over the last couple months. Had to put my printers away during the move, but I printed some Knight Customs parts. He has a lot of stuff for the Element Trail Runner. So this is the rooftop tent. I also cut out the Stapui logos on my vinyl cutter. Kind of cool. A front runner rack here and you can see that there's no front grill. I actually took off the plastic stock one and I printed one myself. So I'll, I'll show you guys that. Also, side note, this Ernst RC stand is pretty cool. So it's actually modular. You can move these pegs on the top and fit it to whatever chassis that you're working on. So it slots in there really nicely and holds the rig nice and tight for you. It's also movable. And it has a bunch of storage compartments. So I'll put a link to this in the description box. First off in one of my little containers here is a lot of my lubricants and greases and glues. So I just got a care package from Cal RC. They make a lot of different greases and lubricants and cleaners. So they make this Moo Clean. I actually got a huge one, but they also make this little tiny one so you can sort of transport it. And they also make Utter Butter, really nice grease, waterproof grease for axles and stuff like that, your diff boxes. Um, and it comes also in a syringe, so <laughs> greasing can be a little bit messy. So you can uh, basically just use this and not have to get all greasy. Kind of nice. They also make a bunch of different CAs or super glues. So this is a super thin, which is going to be nice for things like gluing your tires. Um, also a thicker one. So if you don't want something super runny and you just want to put a dab, this is more of like a gel. It's like a thicker, thicker glue. Kind of nice. They also make these little cases with tons of little tiny screw compartments. So like if you're doing a build and you need to compartmentalize screws and different tiny parts, these are gonna be really nice for doing that. And they also make these pit mats. So these are also modular. You can remove these. They are magnetic. And you can store your screws in here while you're working. Make different, couple different sizes, small one. There's also a bigger one over there as I'm moving. Another thing that came in the mail is these RC Girl license plates. And these are from Cryptic RC. Check them out. Yeah, they're like metal reflective license plates. So that one's definitely gonna go on the trail runner. Next, I have this bike rack from Crawlers and Customs. And I've showed you guys this before in a previous video, um, but he made an updated one that fits the Knight Customs bike a little bit better, longer wheelbase. So I'm gonna install this. And I have someone that also just recently got an axial base camp. So I was gonna give this to him as a little gift, a little kid. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna build the new one. Check out Crawlers and Customs, a lot of cool stuff for different builds. And then I've been storing sort of my active parts, anything that I'm actively working on, I want it to be accessible. So I put that all in here below in a little storage unit. So I got a couple deliveries recently for the Element Trail Runner. One of them is from Artful Dodger. So he makes a bunch of different metal parts for different builds, but for the Trail Runner, he sent me some cool stuff. So this metal skid here, kind of neat. Little fox there design, TRD. And this is gonna go on the front here. Looking forward to installing that. Another thing he sent me is this metal bumper. Looks like it's been nicely powder coated in black. Gonna look so sick with the front grill. Really excited about that. Pretty cool. I'll put links to these in the description box below if you guys wanna check them out. Really nice quality. Also sent me a land anchor. This is so cool. What a neat design. Very cool. Also with the little logo there. And he also makes emblems. So I'm super stoked. I actually painted the emblem silver, but this is gonna be a lot cleaner. So you got the TRD, the Forerunner, the Toyota. So this is the front grill that I 3D printed. I have painted the light buckets, also printed out the clear lenses, 
And so I actually painted that, but I think it's gonna look a lot cleaner with the Toyota emblem provided. Kinda cool. Check out artfuldodgerdesigns.com. He's also on Facebook and Instagram. Makes really nice, high quality products, so check them out. Also have this rear metal truss from Scale Metal Supplies. So that's gonna go on the back of the trail runner. And in addition to the rooftop tent and the roof rack, I also printed out a Demolo off-road rear bumper from Night Customs, two-piece, kind of cool. It has a place for a bike rack hitch. Check out Night Customs, my mini factory, lots of cool parts to print. Really cool, the detail you can get with resin printing. And then lastly, I was gonna install the Spectrum 2-in-1 motor ESC combo. This is the 1400 kV version. And it just basically streamlines your motor and your speed control in one motor can. So that's going to be really nice. So that is it for this short video update about the Element Trail Runner. Definitely a work in progress, but huge thank you to Cal RC, Ernst RC, Knight Customs, Crawlers and Customs, Cryptic RC, Artful Dodger, and Scale Metal Supplies. And of course, huge thank you to Element RC. This car has definitely been waiting for all these components to go onto it. So I can't wait to install that and stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in guys. I'll see you later.